on the big loop, you're go for docking. Copy, Terry, we're go for docking. This downlink coming to us from Endeavour Centerline Camera. Good view of the pressurized mating adapter uh, to which uh, Endeavour uh, will dock. Spacecraft now separated by about 265 feet. Houston Endeavour 177 laser, 170 on the TCS compare as well. Copy that, Mike. Thanks for the update. About 165 feet now separating Endeavour from the International Space Station as the two spacecraft uh, continue that uh, slow, deliberate approach that we'll see Endeavour's docking uh, to the orbiting laboratory. This view showing the uh, pressurized mating adapter on the forward uh, side of the Harmony node of the International Space Station on the left of your screen. That just below the uh, end of the Canada arm to the ISS uh, robotic arm. Alpha Houston Space to Ground 2. Uh, we think that you've completed steps 1 and 2 on 1.108 PMA2 arrival, but this is just uh, the reminder we agreed upon. Yeah, okay, we, 1 and 2 are complete. Roger. Ninety feet separating the two spacecraft. Yeah, thanks for the update box. Houston and Alpha, we show no flyout required. We are initiating final approach. Houston copies. Alpha copies. Five feet. And contact between the two spacecraft. Houston Endeavour captured, confirmed. Houston copies. Houston Endeavour, we see flashing lights, free drift. And Alpha can verify the station is in free drift. Houston can also verify that the station is in free drift. Initial latches attached, uh, station in free drift, uh, disabling thrusters and attitude control to avoid additional stresses on the uh, just mated spacecraft.
endeavor for Houston on the big loop. That was a beautiful approach, Dom. Great work. And Wendy and Andy are here. They're all smiles. Well, Houston, if you can pass on to George Frank for us one more time, bringing us to a successful rendezvous flow with their docking. And we sure appreciate his work. And hello to our family there. We'll pass on those words, Dom. This is Mission Control Houston watching the Spatial Endeavor crew enter into the International Space Station. Astronaut Garrett Riesman arriving at his new home in space. He's the 150th visitor to the International Space Station. He's joined by his shuttle crewmates, Commander Dom Gorey, Pilot Greg Johnson and Mission Specialist Mike Foreman, Bob Benkin, Takao Doi, and Rick Linehan. The Expedition 16 crew, Commander Peggy Whitson, and Flight Engineers Yuri Malenchenko and Leopold Ayarts are welcoming the shuttle crew members. Ayarts will return on board Endeavour as Reisman will remain on board the space station. With the hatches open and the crew members able to greet each other, Commander Peggy Whitson will conduct a safety briefing for the visitors. And then the 10 uh, crew members will get to work together, beginning the joint operations of this STS-123, 1JA mission to the space station. And Houston Alpha on the big loop, uh, we're step complete through step 15 of the 2.104, and uh, we're headed over to uh, the service module, so if anything comes up on the shuttle, call us on the big loop. We'll be doing our safety briefing. Sounds good, Peg. You all look uh, really good on high definition right out there on the big board in front of the rooms. And uh, we're going to call it 2.104 complete. You guys look marvelous. <laughs> Canadarm2, the space station robotic arm, is now being operated by uh, mission specialist Bob Benkin and pilot Greg Johnson from Endeavour. They are working from a workstation inside the Destiny Laboratory module of the space station to maneuver the robotic arm. And the task is to uh, grapple or latch onto the pallet inside Endeavour's payload bay that is carrying the new Dexter the special purpose dexterous manipulator, a new addition to the station's robotic system. They will remove that pallet from Endeavour's payload bay and install it on the station on the mobile base system, which is an operating platform for Canadarm2. 
And from that uh, position, the Dexter will be assembled uh, throughout the uh, spacewalks of this mission. This is a view from a camera on.